Nairobi. As the body of Tom Mboya was on its way to All Saints Roman Catholic Cathedral, the pent-up tensions of the waiting crowd neared danger point. The assassinated Kenya minister was a member of the Luo tribe. Bad feeling between his brother tribesmen and Kikuyus, from whom most other members of the Kenya government are drawn, had almost reached its violent climax as the coffin came to the place where it would rest in state after a memorial service. Mourners in their thousands wept unashamedly, sharing the grief of Mrs. Umboya and her children as they entered the cathedral. For President Kenyatta, this too was a time of tension. The anger of many Kenyans had turned towards him as a member of the Kikuyu. Mboya, if he had lived, would probably have been the presidential successor. Kenya at this time was a nation in ferment. As the memorial service began, armed police, supported by troops, faced the inevitable flare-up of tribal hatred. Spurred on by their grief, Luos clashed with Kukuyus, while the forces of law and order fought to keep control. injured mounted, many of them innocent bystanders who are waiting to file past the coffin after the service. As he left the cathedral, President Kenyatta was ringed by a tight cloak of security. The widow and her children left behind a husband and father whose untimely death had sparked off a surge of tribal violence which seemed set to have wide internal repercussions. When the fighting had died down, thousands of members of the Luo tribe waited to pay their last respects. It was no place for Kikuyus to be. Grief had brought hatred. <laughs> 